If you will, uh, go ahead and turn the book to Nehemiah this morning. Nehemiah chapter 8. <coughs> I know it's a very common book. It's in the Old Testament, just so you know. <coughs> Nehemiah chapter 8. I, I've thought for the last few weeks on uh, well it's been said a lot here on Sunday morning a lot here late on Wednesday night how good it is just to be in the house of God and, uh, David mentioned it Wednesday and I mentioned it a while back about King David and Dayson when the Ark of the Covenant came and, and the, the, the ones that got excited in the Word of God and, and just the, the, the joy that comes from being a child of God. And, and I've read some different scriptures and, and thought for sure I didn't study enough this week. And, and after I went back and was looking at everything I read and what I had marked down to read this morning, it, it that these. They ought to be a certain amount of joy that comes from just being a child of God. But there's certain things about this Christian walk and things we do that that that'll bring joy to you if you'll let it. If, if you'll just uh, and, and seem like a lot of what David mentioned Wednesday was on my mind, and I guess that that's how it's been working anyway. So that wasn't no surprise. But, but uh, God, God's people ought not be negative people. There's nothing. For us to be negative about this morning, I, I know things go on. I ain't saying what I mean. I, I face things just like everybody else does, and yeah, there's things that'll that'll uh, that that'll cause you to be upset and sad for a, for, for for a period of time. They, there's things that'll 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 get you down, but they ought to be just a, just a. I, I know people I just seem not even look at, let alone talk to, because they're so negative. I, I have no use for that. Because you can't talk to them about nothing without them having something negative, something uh, just just in a down and out mood all the time. I, I can't, I can't figure that out. And you say, well, maybe you don't you don't know their life. No, but they claim to be a child of God. They ought to be some amount of joy in their life. Amen. Uh, this, this is a joyous thing this morning. It's, it's a joyous thing just to be here. It's a joyous thing to know I'm saved. It's a joyous thing to know I'm going to heaven. It's a joyous thing to have my family in, the, in, the, in church this morning. It's a joyous thing to have Christian friends this morning. It, 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 this whole thing is full of joy. It, I mean, you think about the whole your whole Christian walk, or it's just a big. Just a, uh, a a big happy time, and if you ain't listening to Wednesday night, I ain't gonna say nothing about it. Somebody, y'all need to go back and listen to Wednesday Amen. night. But I want to read right here in Nehemiah chapter eight. Nehemiah chapter eight, verse one says, "And all the people gathered themselves together as one man in, into the street that was before the water gate, and they spake unto Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which." which the Lord had commanded to Israel. And Ezra the priest brought the law before the congregation, both of men and women, and all that could hear with understanding upon the first day of the seventh month. And he read therein before the street that was before the water gate from morning until midday before the men and, and the women and those that could understand. And the ears of all the people were attentive unto the book of the law. And Ezra the scribe stood upon the pulpit of wood which they had made for the purpose. And beside him stood Mattahai and, and Shema and Adonai and, and Urijah and Hilakai and Messiah and on his right hand and on his left Padai and Michelle and Malachi and Hashem and Hashbadana, Zechariah 
and Meshulam. And Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was above all the people when he opened it, and the people stood up. And Ezra blessed the Lord, and, uh, the great God. And all the people answered, Amen, Amen, with lifting up their heads. And they bowed their heads and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. And, and, and Yeshua and, and Benai and Shereba, Jamin, the Kub, Shabbatai, Hodajah, Messiah, Kalita, Azariah, Josabad, Hanai, Peleah, and the Levites caused the people to understand the law, and the people stood in their place. So they read in the book the law of God distinctively and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. And Nehemiah, which is the Tershantha, and Ezra the priest, the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people said unto all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God. More not, nor we, for all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them, whom nothing is prepared, for this day is holy unto the Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Now, uh, this ought to sound familiar this morning, because this is exactly what we're doing. They used to have a church, and, and uh, 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 Ezra... Uh, was reading the book of the law to the people and, and uh, it, it says right there that the, so they read in the book of the law of God distinctively and gave sense and caused them to understand the reading. They was explaining the book of the law to them. They was telling them this law meant this and this law meant that and just like we're doing this morning sort of and they, they was, uh, it, it, it's just they was having church and that's a uh, uh, but verse 9 was on my mind and I, as I was reading this and it says that the people that, that, they, that, that this day is holy unto the Lord your God mourn not nor weep for all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Uh, I, I thought about it and I thought about why people sometimes don't come back to church or why some people quit coming to church. It, it, it comes from a uh, it, it comes from getting your toes stepped on by this book. Come on. Amen. Amen. It, it comes from when uh, if uh, I, I hope I help somebody, but I think more about the preaching. If the preaching uh, bothers you, if, if if the preaching of this book and him explaining things to you bothers you, you have no joy in your life this morning. The joy that I get in my life from from my Christian walk from coming up here on Sunday for the past. I don't know how many years come from me uh, from this book of stepping on my toes and being known and learning. And, and, and God is saying, see there, you had it wrong. See, you're, you've got sin in your life. See, you didn't do that right. My book tells you that. And I didn't know that till this man stood up and preached it. Amen. I didn't get mad and not come back. I didn't get sad. I didn't go away mourning and weeping and being upset. It brought joy into my life because I was that, that much closer to God. Amen. There's a certain amount of joy that would have come from this book and this book alone. I, 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 I've never picked up this book and read it and God spoke to me through this book and, and me get upset, get mad or weep or mourn. Come on. I might have cried, but I cried tears of joy. I can't tell you that. If you ain't ever picked up this book and read it, when you're all alone, and, 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 and meditating on the things of God, you, you'll cry out here to joy every once in a while. I promise you that. It, it, it's, it's a joyous thing. I love this book more than anything. I love to hear it teached. I love to hear it preached upon. Uh, it, 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 verse 10 says, Then he said unto them, Go ye, go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them, for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord, neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. It, it, you're not supposed to leave here this morning sad and think, well, he taught on that or he preached on that and, and that, uh, that just upsets me. I, 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 that just upsets me so terrible. You're supposed to leave here and say, well, I, that helped me. I'm going to go help somebody else. Amen. Uh, the, 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 the sweet and the fat, that's what we've been talking about for so long. The, 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 the fatness of the things of God and the sweet, how sweet it is. Uh, it, it, you were to apply this to where it is, to where it makes you fat on the things of God, where it's sweet tasting to you. It, it's a uh, th th this book and this whole uh, process of going to church is a joyous thing. 
Amen. I, I, I'm happy to be here this morning. Amen. Like I said, I, I, I don't want... I don't want to wake up on Sunday morning and say I have to go to church. Come on, Amen. I want to wake up and say I get to go to church. Amen. Amen. That, 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 that's a big difference. I, I, I don't know how many people that, that you talk to say I have to go to church. We got to go to church. Can't, can't do that. I have to go to church Wednesday night. I can't do that. I've got to, we, we can't go. I can't go to the Bristol race. I've got to go to church Sunday. Come on. No, I get to go to church. So. I love, I enjoy being here and surrounding myself with the people of God and the things of God and hearing the Word of God preached. Uh, we've said this probably not nearly enough, but I'll say it again this morning. You can't get this everywhere else. Amen. That's right, you can't get this everywhere else. It, 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 it's a joyous thing just to be a part of this congregation. Amen. Amen. Uh, but you know, brother, he's talking about coming into the house of God and eating from the things of God. You've got to be hungry for the things Amen. of God. Amen. And the only way you can eat from a table of God is to be cleaned up. That's right. You can't eat from God's table and the devil's table too. That's right. The reason people get mad and offended and won't come, the Bible said if my word offend thee, you're none of mine. That's right. He said, praise God, he said, Amen, it's not the hearer that's justified, but the doer of the word. He said, Amen. be not a hearer only, but a doer. You'll find out that there's very few people, praise God, that's a living for God. Amen. 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 They go to church every Sunday. They pretend that they're doing right. They, they act like they're having a good time. But yet on, on Monday and through the week, they're still living like hell, Amen. praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. There's something wrong. You can't truly worship God. The Bible said... Amen. They that worship Him must worship Him in right. spirit and in truth. Amen. For God is a spirit and seeketh such to worship Him. You can't worship Him with the flesh. Praise God. You can't even pray in the flesh. The Bible said you, you don't even know how to pray. It's a spirit that intercedes for me and you through utterances and groanings that can't even be understood, praise God. You all know why things in such a mess? It's carnal-minded people, praise God, that won't get right with God and they want to make you feel bad for doing right. Can I get an amen? Come on. People will get caught and they want you to be ashamed because you're living right, praise God. Come on. You see it everywhere. They'll lie, cheat, steal, praise God, and then when they get caught, they want you to be ashamed. Don't say nothing now, because praise God if you do, amen, that'll be wrong. The Bible said to rebuke sin sharply, that all might fear and repent. Now that's what the Word of God says. You look around you, praise God. Everybody keeps it hid. Nobody wants to talk about it. But when it becomes sin, praise God, it affects everybody. It hurts everybody in your life, in my life, and everybody down the road, praise God. And the only way to get out of it is repentance and repentance means to get out of it and leave it praise God and if you're still living in it you're still in sin and it's still wrong and you can't eat truly from God's table but praise God when you get right with God and you come into the house of an almighty God and you begin to praise him amen the Bible said he inhabits our praise amen that's when the power of God comes down out of glory and falls around us and walks through our midst and we worship Him then. Amen. Praise God, you can't worship Him a living like Him. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. You can pretend. Amen. You can holler amen and shout a little bit and everything else, but the devil will make you shout. That's right. Come on. Yeah, you can feel good about yourself. Still won't make you right with God. Amen. The only way you can eat from God's table is to be cleaned up with the blood of the Lamb, and that means living for it. Right. Amen. So, preacher, you're pretty hard on that. Praise God, look around you and see what sins cost the people. Amen. That's right. Costing them their homes, their families, their joy. Amen. Praise God, and then He wants you to act like, praise God, amen, these young ladies. I preach it all the time. You don't hear people preaching it anymore. Praise God to tell them to keep their virginity till they get married. Amen. Praise be unto God. Don't be out here running with all this fun. Amen. Doing the things of this world. Young men, praise be unto God. Amen. Don't be out here taking one night stands and That's sleeping right. with these women. Man. Praise God unwed. Praise God. It's fornication and it's still sin. Amen. Man. How do you tell them that? And the world says you're crazy. They go to school in the school system. They try to make them be ashamed. Amen. Praise God because they're different. I'd rather be different from Jesus, I, I ain't Amen. have the power of God Amen. in my life than to live like hell like everybody else. Amen. 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 I believe.
Bless you, Lord. If you ain't figured it out, I ain't like everybody else. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 It's time God, the Bible said you're a peculiar people. Huh? You all have meat and get out of sin. Amen. 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 Your people in your life saved, live like you want them saved. Amen. Praise God, there ain't nobody else going to lead them in. Nope. Amen. Come on. Got too much to stake, praise God, to be laying around and letting things go on. People need to wake up. Yeah. I see it every day. You talk to people on the street every day. Everybody's all right with God. Yeah. <coughs> Happy moment. Huh? Men are cheating on their wives. Bless him, bless him, Lord. Him, Lord. Come on, live it like hell. Man. Men in deaconship, so walking around this community and up and down the valleys and cuss like a sailor. Help him, Lord. Amen. Youth leaders, song leaders, piano players Amen. in the house of God got sin in their life. <laughs> And then we want to know why. Praise God, things fall apart. You want to know why? It's sin. Come on! You can't. This brother can't teach Sunday school with the power of God that he's been teaching with and go to work and cuss like everybody else. Come on! It won't work. It'll tell on you. And then when he does, everybody says, You're judging me. I don't have to judge you, praise God. I know you, but the fruit you bear. Can I get an amen? You can shout hallelujah all you want to, but won't we? Hey, by Thursday, praise God, through the week, if you're still living like hell, you're a hellion. Can I get an amen? Come on, praise God! It's time somebody tells the truth. Amen. Amen. It'll cost you. That's right. It's important to you, ain't it, brother? It is. It's important to your family, ain't it? Your little girl talks about heaven. How important is it to her? That's right. If her daddy lives for Jesus. You see, the troubles is coming and hell's a raging and praise God, somebody's going to have to help these babies. Amen. You teach them that all you, all you go to church for is to play games. Go ahead and teach them. You teach them it's your life with Jesus is a joke. Go ahead and teach them. <laughs> this is what I believe, Randy. People can get mad at me if they want to. It's going to get hard, amen. Because I'm fixing to get a whole lot meaner than I've ever been. I'm going to stand on the book if it makes everybody mad. And I promise you, you will not push me and make me feel ashamed for standing what's all right. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. You ever seen it? They want you to feel bad. That's right. Amen. Because you're living right. I got news for you. If that's what you want me to do, you might as well just forget that, praise God, because I've got joy in my heart. Amen. You know why? Amen. Because when I lay down at night, I can sleep. Because, praise God, my Lord is my Savior. When I get up in the morning and face people going down the street, I don't have to run and hide from them. You know why? Because I'm justified by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Come on! When the patrol cars pull up in the parking lot, Randy, I don't have to run anymore. You know why? Praise God! For my sins are under the blood. And praise God, I'm not guilty anymore. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Oh, that much. I feel that. Bless you, Lord. I wonder how important this thing is to people. I see it all the time. I just like to go home. Amen. Yeah. And I'm not talking to Little Horse Creek either. Yeah. Amen. I'm homesick, Carl. Yeah. I fit a battle for 20 years or longer. Amen. And then when you go to the house of God, praise God, and 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 try to worship with people, and then they're still living like hell. Let me tell you something. You want to be a lot to these kids? Quit cussing. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all lead these young men to live right. Quit running harlots. Yeah. Bless him, man. Come on. Bless him, man. That's right. Y'all quit this stuff. Get it out of your life. Amen. I tell. I preached the men time in this church. Yeah, I'll just tell you again this morning. Bless him, man. Bless him, man. 
You can't help to look at naked women don't go to the beach. Amen. 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 You can't help to take a drink whenever you're around people drinking. Stay away from them. Amen. Amen. Come on! Amen. You can't help but to cuss when people's are cussing. Don't be around them people. Amen. Come on! Amen. My, I'm telling you the truth. Is that good preaching or what? The Bible said to shun the very appearance of evil. To abstain from vain and profane babblings. It's easy to say. Everybody's living right. Do you ever notice that? Everybody you talk to is living right. Do you go around the corner and catch them a cuss, right? Come on. Then everybody's excuse is. I get mad sometimes, preacher. I, I can't help it. That's a lie right out of hell. You can help it. Amen? Amen. Somebody's lying to you. And if you didn't like to do it, you wouldn't blur it out. Amen. The Bible said, what a man's heart's full of, his mouth will speak abundantly of. Yep. Yep. Amen? Amen. Amen. I, I just I, I thank God for this brother. Amen. They join this thing. There ain't no reason you can't eat from God's table. The only thing that will hinder you from eating the things of God is you. Amen. It won't be what the preacher preaches. I've had them to bring chains into the church house and jump on me and everything else. Have a not, Brother Keith? Amen? Dragging me out of old boy drove it. Hey! He'd rear back, praise God, amen. He'd go in his head leading singing. He'd rear back, unbutton his shirt way down to here, amen, and open her up and rear back, amen. Made me sick as a dog. Bless him, Lord. Hey, mate, bless him, Lord. I just kept a praying. Yeah. Lord, One night in revival meeting, God sent a message, amen. Tore his playhouse down. Amen. You know what he done? He rebuked me. Come find out he's a preacher's uh, brother-in-law. It make no difference to me if it had been the Pope, amen. Can I get an amen? Oh, he got up and rebuked me right out of the pulpit. Amen. Praise God, a young preacher stood up. I thought he's going to fight short in the world. All he done is open the book and he said, If my word offend thee, you're none of mine. Amen. Shut the book and sat down. That old boy's face is red as blood. Next night he brought in a big lock chain. Amen. Big and couldn't hardly carry. Throw her down the floor right in front of me. He said, pick it up and see how heavy it is. I just stepped across her jab and kept up preaching. Amen. I thought for a little bit I might take him out back. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now listen. Amen. You can live any way you want to. But don't you try to push me into it. Because praise God somewhere in life old day Miles will stop backing up. Amen. And when he does, you ain't going to like it. Because when I step out, amen, I'm going to tell you right to your face. Amen. What the Word of God and then you'll have to face Jesus for in the last day when the trumpet sounds and the books are open I'll tell you what you'll face in the word of God brother praise God he'll be the word of God amen you'll be just how the things that are written in this book amen Woo! can I get an amen you want to worship get right with God amen you can do without some of this stuff. Amen. Yeah. You care if I preach just a little bit this yeah, little bit. <laughs> People come to my house all the time and they ask me questions. And they usually come one time. <laughs> you can ask my girls. I'll pull a book on you. Amen. Come to my house all the time. There's a young man, praise be unto God, took come to my house one night, and this is what he said. He said, I want you to pray. He said, My wife's left me, I want you to pray. And he said, I, I'm going to, I, I want her to come back home. I said, Are you sure you want me to pray now? Amen. I don't play, Randy. When I pray, I know God hears me. Amen. Amen. You know why? Because he promised me that if I would live the way he told me to live, with this book, sister, that he'd hear me when I call. Amen. 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 Ain't nothing in between me and God. Amen. And I'm going to be just as plain, praise God, as I know how to be this morning. I said, all right, get ready. So I prayed, and two weeks later, she come back home. And you see, for this time, he done made him another girlfriend. He really wanted her to come home. So she come home, and within three days, he run her off. 
And then he come back to my house and he brought his girlfriend and he's she was sitting in the car. And this is what he said. He come to my house and he stepped up on my porch and he said, I want to know what you think about this situation. I said, let me get the book. Amen. Amen. You know what he said? I don't read the book. I don't want to know what it says. I want to know what you think. I said, don't make a hill of beans what I think. It's what God's Word says. And I asked him a question. Simple question. Bless him, Lord. Locked him, burst him to death. Bless him, Lord. I said, How much do you love God? He said, With all my heart. Yeah. I said, Are you sure? He said, I love him with all my heart. Do anything for him. That's what he said, bro. Do anything for the Lord. I said, I got one question. You love God more than you love sex? Yeah. Bless him, Lord. That's just where the rubber meets the rubber. His lifestyle tells me he did. Come on. You see, you can live without physical relationship. That's not a necessity to live. That was to replenish the earth. Ooh, look out. Don't tell me you love God and then go right against the Word of God because your lifestyle tells me you're a liar. Amen. How much do you love Him? Amen. You see, everybody wants to know what your opinion is, but they don't want to know what the book says. Amen. Huh? <coughs> Just how close are you to God? Amen. Joy in this thing, brother. Amen. You know why there's joy in this thing? Because there's peace. That's right. Why is there peace? Because you know that everything's settled. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I don't have to worry, sister, this morning. Because everything's settled. I'm troubled, amen, not by my life, but by the things that goes on around amen. me. That's what troubles me. Amen. amen. The deceptions yeah. in life. Amen. Amen. Those things are coming, Greg. I saw some evidence last night. There's some things are coming. Yeah. Yeah, you watch. Don't worry anymore. Man, God said He had this stuff. When God gave me the evidence last night, He showed me your face, and God said, Tell you, don't worry, it's coming. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Live for God. God. Amen. Yeah. These people know that you're right with God. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. amen? amen. It's just like Brother Randy right here. And, and, and I love this boy more than anything in this life, and I love everybody sitting in this church. You have no idea. That's the reason I tell you the truth is because I do love you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But all your buddies, all your family, everybody around you are watching you like a hawk. Yeah. Oh yeah. You feel their eyes? Yeah. You know what they're looking for? For old Randy to come back. That's right. Amen. Amen. They're looking for the old man. They're looking for you to fall again. And you know why? So they can make fun of you. Amen. Say I told you. He'd never make it. But you know what I see this morning? I see a different look in your eyes. Amen? Amen. Woo! I see a different feeling when I get you by the hand. You know what I see this morning? Determination. I see a man that's tasted the goodness of God Amen. and sat down and ate at the table. Oh, some it's heavenly. Hey, man, you ever get a hold of that? Praise God, you'll never feel the same. Amen? Amen. 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 I love you, sir. I just keep telling her. I'd watch. That boy's got a different look in his eyes. Hey, you think I don't notice stuff? Yeah, man. I tell me your face. Yeah, I love you, Jerry. Teach it, brother. Teach it. There's standards in the house of God. Just anything can eat from God's table. Right. You can't drink from God's cup and the devil's cup. That's right. Make your mind up. How much do you love God? Do you love Him more than you love this world? Amen. Amen. Last night I sat down there at that wedding and I cried. I've never been in more of a powerful place in my life. Bless you, Lord. I sat and cried. <laughs> I walked in to the place where the bride was getting ready. And I wanted to do tell her I love her. 
God's getting his bride ready. Yeah. Amen. 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 Never once in a while he'll send somebody to tell you he loves you. Amen. 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 Yeah. But I walked in and my God had failed. I believe she was the most beautiful young lady I've ever seen in my life. But she started to cry when she seen me. I stood and cried and I looked at my family and my son <coughs> and my nieces and my nephews. And the Bible says in the Word of God to forsake all others. That's right. Husbands, wives, sisters, brothers, mothers, fathers, <laughs> even your own wife, and take up your cross and follow me. Amen. And I look back through my life, 20 some odd years, you have no idea what I've missed in my family because I forsook everybody. My nieces and nephews are grown. They're not little anymore. And I forsook them all for Jesus. Ever once. And I sat there and cried because my heart broke. I forsook my children. My wife took care of my kids while I was in revival. Preaching all over this country, Jeff. Amen. And then preachers want to make me feel ashamed for the way I preach. Bless him, Lord. I'm justified this morning. In the name of the Lord, brother, keep living for Jesus. I don't care what people tell you. I don't care how much pressure they put on you. Praise God, young people live for Jesus. Amen. The power of God in my life is more important than anything that I have in this world. Amen. 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 I just like to have a little more of the power, brother. Don't know what to do with it, but I'd like to try it just a little. Yeah. I'd like to get in the third heaven every once in a while. Amen. Get right in there. Old Paul got in there. Lord. Yeah. Even old John's on the Isle of Patmos on the Sabbath day. Said, whether in the body or out of the body, he said, I can't stop tell. You know what he's doing? He's afloat. He's having a meeting. When God took him up and began to show him things, and he said, right, for these sayings are faithful and true. Amen. But there's some of it, brother. Hey, preacher. There's some of it that old John couldn't write. You know why? Because that little preacher couldn't stop to read it. Because it had been so good that this body would have just, he could have had it. Yeah. 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 Amen. Sometimes we going down the road, Jeff, and the word will come to me. Amen, yeah. And I'll be in another country when I come to myself. Amen. Worshiping God. Amen. You have to be in the spirit to worship Him. Amen. 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 Had a battle this week. Bless Him, Lord. Spiritually, physically, it's about over. And you know why? I preached a message the other Wednesday night. If you wasn't here, you needed to be here. <coughs> you see, the tribulations is happening now. I talked to hundreds of people this week and praise God every one of them is going through just basically the same warfare. Yeah. And it's tribulations. Amen. And Jeff, when it's over, the Lord's are coming. Right. Right. When it's coming, Lord God. Amen. You know, I'd like to be in a meeting with you somewhere and have a problem with us, me and you having a party and the Lord, praise God. Amen. Amen. The Lord just roll Amen. heaven back and sound the trumpet and say, come on, son. Yeah, Amen. Ready? Come on, Amen. You listening for him? You say, Randy, you've been in a little while. Just come on home, son. It's over. Just come on in and sit down. Woo! With the redeemed, praise God. I love the Lord. Amen. I love you, and sometimes there's a battle so real, Brother Buck, that I just don't know where to start. Amen. Then I fall into the Word of God, and I come back to this little church, and I get strength to make another day. You see, tomorrow will be a lot easier. And I'll tell you why. Because you're going to get something this morning that will sustain you through tomorrow. Go ahead, Jim. Praise God. I'm sorry, brother. No, go ahead, if, you're going to, if you're going to get anything, and this is what gets me. 
People try to tell me what the Word of God says and them are living like hell. Yeah. Bless the Lord. Don't you know that God will not bless over sin? Preacher, am I telling the truth? Joe, am I telling it like it is, brother? How can you know what the Word of God means and God can't even bless you for your lifestyle? Can I get a name? Somebody say amen. How can you tell me what the Word of God means, and you can't even get it yourself. Amen. Try. How can you? You can't. No. The Bible said carnal mind is, is death. Huh? It is. You'll never tell me what the Word of God means and you'll live in carnal mind and you won't get any sins in your life. Amen. But praise God, when you get cleaned up and the fire of God goes to running, you talk about a meeting. Amen. 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 Jerry, I appreciate, appreciate you. you <laughs> I really do, bro. Appreciate it's been a lot to this preacher. Listen, I thank God for you. Now, I'm going to try to help, but praise God, I'm telling you right now, how can you know the things of God? But you know, people's are guessing at this thing. That's where confusion comes in. Yes. They're guessing at it because they're just like that young man standing on my porch. They don't want to know what the book says. They'd rather know what somebody says. Amen. What do you think about it? Have I ever called you and asked you what you thought about it? No. I know what it means. Sure. Right. Joe, have I ever called you and asked you what you thought about it? You know why, brother? Because I believe that if you and this brother right here is tuned in tune with God, amen, amen, it means the same to you as it does to me. For the Bible is ever settled, and he said, let God be true. And every man a liar. Can I get an amen? If you want to know the truth about anything, church, Open up the blessed Word of God. Amen. Amen. And be willing to put your life in order with this. You talk about heaven. Amen. Sometimes I get to shout and praise God. Them old horses think I'm crazy as a bed bug. <laughs> Can't help it. <coughs> when your heart gets so full and the Word goes to rolling, you just go to melt and feels like it. Amen. You'll get so high you can't hardly stand it. When your prayers are answered, sister. Brian, when your prayers are answered and you feel like it, nothing's happened, and praise God, you look around and it walks in the church. Amen, brother. I'm proud of you. Amen. Stuck some determination. Went to see him in the hospital. It takes some determination to live for God. Yes. Dedication. Determination. Amen. Huh? Commitment. The therapist went in to see him and the therapist in there, you sir. My God, he's wanting to walk, jump up and down, do exercises and everything else. And she said, hold on a minute. Get over here where you can get a hold of this sink, amen, before you go to exercise it. He said, I want to get better. Amen. How many remembers this young lady over here? Crying out to her mom, Courtney, praise God, so I'll get it right, mom. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You can say it, but if you ain't trying, you ain't a meaning it. When this brother jumped up and wobbled over to the sink, praise God, amen, I thought now, he just fired to go to the moon. Next thing I know, he's jumping up and down, throwing his leg out like that a time or two, praise God. And she said, now slow down. He said, I can go to the other side. Throw that now, amen. Praise God, the next thing I know, she said, I believe you can go home tomorrow. Amen, praise God. Woo! Amen. You know what? It ain't knocking down. You know how I know? He cleaned them steps and got in and sat down in the house of God. Amen. Amen. You want to see a child of God that's hungry for the things that spread on God's table? Look at him, amen. amen. Woo! God's going to bless him, praise God. Amen. We're making an effort. Amen. Amen. God showed me people in need this week. Amen. As a young lady come to my mind over there, praise God, Friday. I don't know what she's going through. But that young and works hard. She works hard and I know she puts up with things. 
And I began to look at the bags and under her eyes. I asked her, I don't even know what her name is. And I asked her every time I see her, how's her kids? And she's just like every mama that's in this church this morning. She just brag on her kids. Amen. Friday, God showed me she's in need. God let her know He loves her. Do you notice things? Pray for this young lady. I don't even know her name. But I pray to God this morning, somewhere in this life, that God had opened heaven and He'd pour all the man out of glory right down on this sister. Give her strength to make another day. I believe she's beaten down. The black bags and under her eyes show me that she's troubled and she's tired. God's going to give her rest this morning. I believe that, Greg, with all my heart. I believe God's going to give her rest. You see, you can't love God without loving one another. Amen. 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 That's right. Jerry, you go ahead, brother. Yeah. We'll yeah. just have Sunday school today. It don't bother me. Rainy day, what are you going to do? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Be a real place, praise God. Amen. Just to sit down and have meat this morning. Uh, Amen, t- turn to Hebrews chapter 12. I've had that, a verse of scripture over here marked. Well, marked in my old Bible, and I marked it in this new one. Yeah, yeah bless it. It'll, it'll. I go back to it a whole lot of times, and uh, I'm gonna read this right here. Hebrews chapter twelve, verse seven. Touching more. It says, if ye endure chastening, God dealeth with, with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh with, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much more rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? And they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but He for our profit, that we might be partakers of His holiness. Yeah. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto whom which are exercised thereby. Wherefore lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest they, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it be, ra- but let it rather be healed. Uh, I-, I marked verse eleven a long time ago. Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. And I used to think uh, I-, I-, I knew the verse of scripture that, uh, the, uh, uh, be- but if you're without chastisement, your bastards are not sons. And I knew, and I and I tell people. A lot of times uh, I talk to quite a few people that will go to doubt their salvation and the first thing I try to tell them, I say, well, you've got a place and time that you need to remember, that you should remember, and, and, and number two, God will chasten you if you're saved. Amen. God will absolutely chasten you if you're saved, no doubt about it. But, but this verse says, uh, no chasten for the present seemeth to be joyous. You think it's a good thing when God's not dealing with you. Come on. I, I thought about it. There's been times in my life that, that, that I thought, well, God ain't, uh, God ain't with me or God ain't pouring His finger at me or God's not told me He's disappointed in me. So, uh, something must be wrong. That's what it's saying here. It seemeth to be joyous, but it's grievous. There's joy in chastisement this morning. If anything this preacher just preached on bothered you and God said you need to fix that, you ought to rejoice in that this morning. Chastisement is a joyous thing this morning. I, 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 I find great joy in God to tear me up over things. The, the Bible says these Scriptures is for reproof and correction. Amen. Come on. Uh, chastisement ain't always just a uh, chastisement ain't always just getting the belt took to you. Sometimes it's just to help you, to guide you in a certain direction, to help you and to correct you. Uh, chastisement ain't all just about getting one more out. It, it, it's a, it, to me, it, it's a joyous thing. 
Don't, don't, don't be like the, 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 the children of Israel of our Nazareth to read the law and feel bad because this book goes, because this, this book offends you. Amen. Yeah, don't, 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 uh, every, like I say, everything he just preached. David covered a whole lot of things if you was listening. A whole lot of things. Now, if it bothered you, don't, don't, don't hang your head down. If God's a deal with you, don't, don't, don't be sad because, because it hurts, because it hurts his flesh. Rejoice. It's godly sorrow. Godly sorrow is a good thing. Chastisement is a good thing. It's a joyous thing. It's not grievous to be chastised by God. That's the number one way you are. That ought to tell you you belong to Him this morning. Amen. Uh, I, I, I thank God for chastisement. Amen. Oh, I do. I, I, when I mess up, it don't take. It ain't like me. And, uh, and sometimes I'll wait and see if Carly does it again. Uh, God ain't like that. It's pretty Amen. instantaneous. Amen. He don't, he don't Amen. wait. Because He loves us. That's why He does right. it. Amen. Uh, Bless him Lord. That's another joyous thing. This whole thing's covered in joy. This whole Christian walk. But I want to read too. Let me read this over here in Jeremiah. If you'll turn to Jeremiah chapter 31. Can I say this, brother? <coughs> go ahead, preacher. Then we'll just go on. Then we'll go on. What people don't understand is what God's doing with you is getting you ready to leave this world. Amen. Right. The whole point of preaching and getting a man down to business in the Word of God is to get us clean before so we can go to heaven. That's right. Amen. You see, God don't want you to die and miss heaven. Over in the book of Ephesians, He said this, and 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 He goes on. I'm gonna read the 25th verse, but. In, in Ephesians uh, 5, 20, 25, he said, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. Amen. Amen. And he said, by the word. He said to wash it and to sanctify it by the washing of the water, which is by the word. Amen. Amen. Cleansing it by the word. He's washing me, praise God, right. with the word of God. Amen. That for some reason. And this morning, if the Word of God's are touching you, it's because He's washing you Amen. for a reason. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what the reason is. I preach this. I'm so ready to go home this morning, Sister Louise, that I just pray to God that God would roll heaven back. Amen. And sound the trumpet and we could just go on home. I'm tired of the troubles. I'm tired of the trials and the tribulations. I want to go home, praise God. Amen. Listen, the Bible said, Amen, that He might sanctify and cleanse it by the washing of the water, by the Word, that He might present it to Himself. A glorious church. Not having spot or wrinkle or any such things, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God getting us ready to present us to the Father. Amen. That we could be in heaven. Amen. That's all it's about. Yeah. It ain't to put you down or to hurt you. Praise God. It's to get you ready to go to heaven. Amen. Amen. And people will tell you that you've got a second chance and when the Lord comes, don't worry about it. Till the Lord comes, praise God, they don't love you. Amen. Fill him up, Lord. Amen. You know what worries me the most? Bless him, Lord. One of the writers of old, one of the old preachers said, my prayer is that all Israel will be saved. Yeah, amen. You know why I fight so hard, Sister Louise? I don't want to leave nobody behind. Amen. 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 And the hardest thing that I've ever done of preaching is try to get people convinced to believe <laughs> and live by the Word. Amen. Amen. Right. They'll go a little ways. But then they won't continue. I thank God for them that's got their mind made up. Amen. Forsook everything in this world and going on for Jesus. I thank God for this bunch. They're going to help me do what I need to do in the last days. I ain't got just a few more days. The Lord may call me home tomorrow. There's a brother called me this day in two weeks. And he said, Preacher, I was worried about you this morning. I said, what's the matter? He said, I dreamed that you died in a car wreck. He said, I'm just about to die. I said, if God's going to take me out in a car wreck today, you just shout, praise God. Don't worry about me, Randy, because I'm ready. Amen. I fit the heat of the battle. I've done my best to keep my faith and to finish my course. 
And if today goes, if I go today in a car wreck, praise God, shout the victory. Help my wife and kids along, praise yes, God. Man. Amen. Don't worry about me. I told him, I said, don't worry. He said, don't that bother you? I said, not in the least. He said, I've been praying, God, just take me home. Amen. <laughs> I love him this morning. Awesome. And my prayer is that we could all just meet Jesus and shout. You know what? I like being a group of people when the trumpet sounds that they could all just shout the victory. Amen. 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 I like being a bunch of praise God where they wouldn't have to run and hide when the Lord comes. Amen. They just shout and leave us for looking for him. Amen. Jerry, I appreciate you. Amen. Amen. Sister, and you'll have to go ahead. And go. I just have to say that people don't understand. They get it wrong. Right. We was preaching on the street of West Jefferson and been several years ago and there's a young lady full of, full of young ladies in the car pulled up and she said, what are you condemning us for? I said, what are you talking about? Well, she said, they're telling us up and down the street that you're up here condemning us for running up and down the road. I said, somebody lied to you. I said, praise God, now I'm a nut anyway. I said, you girls like to party, don't you? Yeah! I said, well, praise God, I'm here to invite you to a party. That got your attention. Hey, Amen. I said, I'm not here to blow off on you for running up and down the road. I said, they was a king. Yeah. Sent me to this street to invite you girls to go to a party. Hey, Amen. They said, where's it at? I said, in the throne room Amen. of the Almighty God. Amen. Woo! I said, the party I'm talking about is a wedding feast. They had the banquet table of the Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody's invited. Do you want to go? Amen. They pulled off and left me standing there. <laughs> Praise God, I'm telling you right now. I ain't going to condemn them. I went to invite them. Amen. 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 Condemnation came when the light shined into this world according to the Word of God. Huh? Come on. Amen. It's your own guilt that condemns you. It's not the preachers. There's this verse of Scripture been on my mind for several months. It goes right along with what this brother's talking about. He said, if a footman were you, how are you going to run with the horse? Yeah. yeah. And how are you going to do it to swell in the Jordan? Yeah. In other words, if the little preacher worries you, how are you going to run with the with the horsemen? Amen. Amen. Talking about the spirits of God. How are you going to run with them? And when the end comes, how are you going to do it to swell in the Jordan? Amen. Amen. How are you going to cross over without Jesus? Amen. If the footman worry me. Everybody's worried about what the preacher says. My God, Lord, doesn't know all about it. Lord, pre the preacher just come. Praise God to preach an invitation so you Amen. lead you to the right way. Right. Can I get it? I ain't nobody to judge. That's right. All I know is what the Word of God says. Bless him, Lord. That's the judge. Amen. He said, My Word will judge you. Amen. Go ahead, Jerry, and read it. Praise God. Bless him, Lord. I thank God for you, brother. Brother Jerry, if you will, before, before you oh. start again, Dave and you both pushing me into it right on it. Old Jess about the bus. I just can't handle it. Preacher Earl Woods, they knew him well, and a lot of others knew him. Well respected man. Most people didn't think he'd joke and carry on with him. Me and him, we joke and carry on something often. And he's in revival tonight. And he preached something about like, what, what David said, but uh, God filled up the plate. So uh, I met him before we went in the next night, and I said, Well, preacher, I said, They're coming back to get the plate filled again tonight. I said, You want to fill it up for me? He said, well, son, he said, I don't fill it up. He said, God might fill it up for you, but i got a question. Yeah. It's about exactly like David said. He said, did you bring a clean place to get filled up? Right. <coughs> and uh, that, that really struck me. Amen. And, uh, uh, that little, uh, little gal I've been bringing to church here. Uh, back when the dinosaurs were on the earth, that, that was my problem. And we got a problem, the twins, because we can't pick up where we where we left off. And I've explained it. Yesterday, we went to get something to eat. Went into the place, walked in the door, and I seen there a sign that the uh, uh, such and such beer special. I said, right, let's go. We left there. I said, let's go somewhere. Went down there and pulled in the parking lot, seen the sign flashing. That was again. So she said, 
Okay, let's just go at KFC. I, I said, let's go KFC. I know they don't serve beer there. Got the KFC and there's a line out the door. And uh, she said, well, let's just go up here to Angels and get us a, a lunch and take us somewhere and go sit down there. And that, that was the best eating that, 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 <coughs> that you couldn't have for a better time. The, the, the Lord took care of her. Yeah. I want you all to help now. I, God knows that the, I'm, I'm doing my best. I, I'm trying to show her the way that, the way that things have to be done. Yeah. Not the way that she's taught things are, but the way that things have to be done. And if, if nothing else, as long as she learns about the Lord, the true way, it's all good. Yeah. I, I have to... I'm human, and I've got to watch him. I'm human. But by the grace of God, he teaches me. And uh, mm -hmm. that goes right along with what David was talking about, the, the young men and everything. <coughs> yeah? I said, old fellas ain't dead either. But uh, right. we've got to do it. it, it if you don't do it God's way, it ain't going to get blessed. It ain't going to be blessed. And you ain't going to be blessed. Uh, Jeremiah 31, verse 10. <clears throat> it says, Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and declare it in the isles afar off, and say, He that scattered Israel will gather him, keep him as a shepherd doth his flock. For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. Therefore they shall come and sing in the height of Zion and flow together to the goodness of the Lord for wheat and for wine and for oil and for the young of the flock of the herd and their soul shall be as a watered garden and they shall not sorrow any more at all. Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance both young men and old together for I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. I will satiate the soul of the priest with fatness and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, saith the Lord. Now, I guess his brother, my brother Ronnie last night when he stood up and read that said that he just sat there and thanked God for how good he was to him. Uh, they, they, these scriptures are talking about uh, talking about just being saved. It, 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 it's what you ought to feel like when you when you're saved. It's what you ought to feel like just being a child of God. Uh, uh, David are talking about just standing for, for the things of God, and, and, and there ought to be a certain amount of joy that comes from that. Just just for standing up for the things of God. When when you wake up, there ought to be a just a joy comes over you just for being saved. Amen. Just knowing that you're saved. That you, that, uh, if you've got the same salvation I've got, uh, you, you'll feel like it. Yeah, I, 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 I like it. And their soul shall be in the watered garden. Amen. Uh, a watered garden is a beautiful thing. Yeah, a watered garden is a, is a, is a growing thing. Is a healthy thing. It is... Uh, uh, sometimes I, I, when I was reading this, I thought, yeah, sometimes my soul does feel like a watered garden. You can't sit in meetings like we have up here and not feel like your soul is a watered garden. Amen. Amen. That's because you saved. Amen. A lost person won't feel what we feel. Uh, it, 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 turning your morning into joy, that's why I say it. it, it just a, it, it, Being saved takes away all the negativity out of your life. It don't Amen. I don't under, I mean, I go right back to what I started to say as I started reading this morning. It, 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 it's just a, it's a, it's just an awesome feeling knowing that you say it. It's a joyful thing, ain't it, Tony? I mean, man, Tony's talked about all that. It's just a, just a joyful thing. Uh, if you can't wake up in the morning with a smile on your face just because you're saved, I, I'd figure something out. Amen. Uh, you say, well, you ain't going through the same things I am. No, and you ain't going through the same things I am. That's right, brother. Come on. It, 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 let me read this. Let me read one more place in First Peter. Maybe it's a help. If you ain't, if, if, if you ain't got joy this morning, maybe this verse of uh, Scripture in First Peter. First Peter chapter 1.
First Peter chapter one, and uh, let me start reading verse three. First Peter one and three says, "Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to His abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead." To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through many fold temptations, that the trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom, in, whom having not seen ye love, and whom though now ye see Him not, yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Uh, if you can't be, if you can't find joy in the Word of God, if you can't find joy in, in coming to the house of God, if you can't find joy in knowing you're saved, find joy in knowing that you've got a home in glory this morning. It's a joyful thing. Joy, uh, 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 joy, uh, uh, rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Hey, hey, sometimes I, I get to thinking about heaven and the things of heaven. And David mentioned Carly asking me a lot of times about heaven, and, 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 and it, it was joy unspeakable. I couldn't tell you what you talk about. Feeling your soul feeling like a water garden. I, I, I get to thinking about it, and, and, and like I said from the beginning, this whole thing, this whole Christian walk, this whole being a child of God is just full of joy. And I'll say this, and it may not be my place this morning, and, and uh, I, I don't want to offend nobody this morning, but if you ain't got joy this morning, I'd get saved. Amen. And you say, well, how can you say that? How do you know I ain't saved? According to these scriptures I just read, you ain't saved. If you ain't got joy in your heart this morning. God didn't save the God didn't save me to go around moping around all the time to say I gotta go to church and I have to study for Sunday school lesson. I gotta make him see CD. I ain't got time for this. I gotta call Tony and talk to him. I ain't got time. It's a joyful thing. Amen. I, got, I love it. I don't understand everybody else. It's a it's a raining. It's a gloomy looking day. My God, I, I'm saving on my way to heaven this morning. It's a joyful thing. I don't care what else is going on. That's why I say, if you ain't got joy, you need to get saved. Because they, they, you, 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 won't, you, won't, you won't remain, you can't be lost and have joy in your heart like this Bible talks about this morning. But I'm done. I, I know young and just back, but... I've got it this morning unless somebody's got something they want to say.
for just a couple minutes a few announcements uh, the, our youth group helped pay for some books at uh, Blue Ridge uh, book fair they had a week or so ago and we got some thank you cards up here it says thank you so much for purchasing the if you plant a seed from my classroom at the book fair it will be used and treasured by many children at Blue Ridge this is from uh, Dawn Powers we got another thank you from another class. It says, Dear Pleasant Chapel, thank you for buying our class the book, Sheila by Starlight. We can't wait to read it. Thank you very much. And then another one, thank you for another book that we bought another class. But our youth group donated, I believe it was $250? $250 to help the children at Blue Ridge to buy some books. And I just want to thank our youth group for what they're doing for this church. Amen. They're representing our church to high standards. Uh, our youth choir is going to be going to, over to Margate this afternoon to sing about 3 o'clock. Uh, we're going to take the van and we'll take them out to eat and then meet over there about 3 o'clock at uh, Margate. Uh, let's remember next Sunday at uh, Revival starts at uh, uh, Helton Valley. You know if it starts at 6 or 7. 7 o'clock next Sunday night, Helton Valley. Uh, our youth group's going to be singing that first night. Uh, May the 3rd, uh, Ma uh, Michelle's got the church directory pretty well done, and we need to get it to where we can get it printed out. We talked about it last night. And we need, uh, the next two weeks, we need to purge it. If anybody wants to get added to it, uh, get with Michelle, and we're going to get it cleaned up and get it sent to the printer. It's going to cost probably around $4 a copy. The youth has volunteered to get the first hundred printed out from the youth funds. We may take up a donation to help pay the youth back for that. But get with Michelle if anybody wants to get added to the to the directory. You got anything to say about it? <laughs> Next is uh, May the 3rd also is two weeks from this Sunday. Uh, we were talking about trying to have the baptizing that, that Sunday after services. Uh, we've got 10, 11 people that we know of that needs to be baptized. So if uh, things work out, we'll try to have it two weeks from today. Uh, day's going to be a revival of March, uh, May 8th, 9th, and 10th over at Farmer's Memorial. Uh, let's remember we're going to have a household share for... Josh and Liz coming up at the end of May, and the wedding's the first Saturday in May, uh, June. Uh, mowing, uh, if you can volunteer to help with the mowing, get with Jamie, he's trying to get his schedule worked up, but uh, the way the grass is growing with the rain, it's going to probably be after done every week. So if you get with Jamie and try to help get something scheduled, uh, Jamie and Jim's been coming up here getting it done so far pretty much, but we need to get some help for them because they can't do it all by themselves. So get with Jamie. Has anybody else got any other announcements? Hey Ronnie, didn't we discuss we had two weeks to get in on that directory? Yeah, two weeks. Uh, two weeks from today. On May the 3rd. Yeah, we want to get cleaned up by May the 3rd. Buck knows somebody in Boone over there that we might be able to a printer we could take to to see about getting it printed at a discount. 
So we need to get that done within the next two weeks. Anything else? Anybody got? I have some in the main service time, but that oh. is May the 29th. It's a Friday. There'll be um, plenty of money in the streets for in the main You know, I'm, I'm I have uh, something about the uh, household shower. It's May 31st. It'll be after Youth Sunday. I think we said 2 o'clock just to give us time to finish up with church and not have to wait a great amount before having the shower. I have a registry that we have printed out. I'm going to put it up front if anybody wants to look at it. And the youth will be doing the food and refreshments for that party. Anything else? Anybody get anything else? <coughs> birthdays and anniversaries. This is the last time of year. Any birthdays or anniversaries? <laughs> Nobody born this time of year, huh? <laughs> well, I guess I'll turn it over to you. Louise, are you a book? You got something picked out? <laughs> When I was drifting out in sea, I had no peace, no joy within, no joy within. But Jesus came, but Jesus came and made me glad.
There's a city of light where there cometh no night for the sun.
Yeah. <laughs> 
families. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, Lord, for another day, Lord, just to be in your house, God. We're thankful, Lord, this morning for salvation, God. <coughs> Lord, I pray, God, your blessings, Lord, upon the offering this morning, God. I pray, Lord, you bless the ones that gave and the ones that couldn't give, Lord. I pray, God, you use the money, Lord, for the uplift and the building of your kingdom, God. We pray, Lord, for the remainder of the service, God, that you just, Lord, send this morning, Lord, what we stand in need of. And I pray, God, you go with us, Lord, as we leave. You can help us, Lord, to be the lights, God, that we might be, that we're supposed to be, and yeah. God, every step we take, Lord, we thank you. And I ask you, Lord, that you just bless it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. 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 Take a minute to glorify my Lord. Come on, brother. Hey, just standing here right now. Come on. Yeah. Tell him up, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Somebody else want to glorify God while these youngers are getting ready? Anybody want to thank him for what he's done?
Song buck down there. God given me. Thank God for the saving power of God. Amen. Amen. I'm glad for saving grace, keeping grace, and dying grace. Amen. There's grace for every need, praise God. If it wasn't for God's grace, we'd all be in trouble. Amen. God knows what we need before we even ask, according to the Word of God. This scripture came to my mind this morning. There's been scripture all over the book, but this this morning I got up and, and sat in there and this scripture just come to my mind. Just like you turned the light switch on, hit us there. Been on my mind ever since. Over in the 40th chapter of the book of Isaiah, very familiar scripture. And there's just a few verses, brother, that I want to read this morning. Hey Amen. I know that God's people's going through trials. I know they're going through tribulations. I know, praise God, they're suffering in this world. Amen. Praise God, they've been outcasts, thrown around, pushed around. Praise God, and people think it's over, but it ain't over, brother. Praise God, they think that they can just do you anyway, make you feel bad, amen, for being a child of God. 
But I'm here to tell you it's time that God's redeemed, amen, say so. Amen. It's time they stand up and say, I belong to a risen Savior, and I'm going on for Jesus, with or without you, praise God. You can go with me. There's a place made that you can go, amen. amen. But I, I began to think about things that was said last night, amen, and things that, praise God, that God let me witness and see people, amen, and Praise God, prayers was answered and heaven fell. And praise God, I just had me a meeting, amen. But praise God, this come to my mind and I'm going to read just a few verses in the last part of this Scripture, amen. God being my helper, you pray real hard. Praise God, I just want to do what God said this morning. Amen, praise be unto God in the 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st verses. Come to my mind this morning, sister. When you enter praising God, it just fill me up. Amen. Praise God because I know who you're talking about. Amen. Now I want you to listen this morning. Praise God. Amen. As I began to tell one down there last night. Amen. The Word of God begins to Amen. Tell about the Lord that I serve. And you know what He said in the Word of God? You know what the Word of God said? Amen. What God is, brother. The Bible said He's Almighty. Amen. Praise God. And that tells me that there's none greater and none above the God that I serve. Amen. The demons of hell, amen, are tricky and they'll cause you to do things that you wouldn't normally do, Jeff. But they ain't never been enough demons in hell to keep you out of heaven if you want to go to heaven. Can I get it? Amen. They ain't never been enough demons to keep you from being blessed of God if you want to be blessed. Amen. Praise be unto God. For as the praises go up, the blessings come raining down. Praise God this morning. Woo! Isaiah began to tell him, Amen. Now listen in the 28th verse of the 40th chapter of the book of Isaiah. The Bible said, Amen, this. He said, Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard? That the everlasting God, amen, did you hear me? The everlasting God. Sister, there's no end to this God, amen. amen. The Bible speaks about the ends of this world, amen, and the ends of this time. And the Bible speaks about, amen, praise God at the seasons, amen, and come to an end. But praise the the God, there's no end to the God that I serve. He is an everlasting God. Amen. And I have an amen. amen. He don't know my and an everlasting God. Praise God, He'll be there for eternity, brother. The Bible said, Woo! In Him there is. The Bible said He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Isaiah said He was an everlasting God. Something you can count on. This world will fall apart. People will let you down. But the God that I serve, Amen, is a rock of my salvation. He is And an everlasting. Him, Lord. Praise God. If you get that in your mind, praise God, it wouldn't be so bad on me. I tell people all the time, made a whole bunch of people mad one night, and I told them, the devil wouldn't ride you near as bad if you didn't put the saddle on for him. Amen. Can we get an amen? amen. I rode a many a horse. Broke a many a colt in my barn. But I'm telling you right now, if you can't get a saddle on it, you can't ride it. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. We was there one night, Brother Jamie was there. Brother Tom Osborne had a little mare. Hey man, he's going to race some colts out of it. He'd tell us, hey man, he'd like to see if she'd ride. Hey man, I took and rise. I told these boys, I said, you better leave that alone. Because praise God, you can tell by the way she looks when you're leading her. She don't want you on her back. Amen. And they said, get your saddle, preacher. I said, no, sir. Don't put my saddle on it. Hey man, if you're going to ride it, you go get your saddle. Amen. Because I said, that's about to tear something up. And it ain't going to be my saddle. Amen. Can I get an amen? Woo! Praise God. So I took her to Ralph Pen Runner for about 45 minutes to an hour. Thought she was wore out. Tied her up there in the barn. Amen. We went to swing a saddle on her. She liked to throw the barn down. We fed her. Amen. Got the saddle on her. Tied her to a gate as tight as we could get her head tied down, son, so she couldn't go across. And praise God. Amen. They didn't get on it. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. If you're the up determination today. If you got the zeal of God, if you know an Almighty and an everlasting God, Amen. You can keep the devil off your back. Hey, can I get another word? Praise God. You don't have to let him ride. 
Amen. Matter of fact, the Bible said, submit yourself unto God. And resist the devil. And praise God, he'll have to flee. Amen. They know it sends and butts about it. You submit yourself to an everlasting God. Resist him. That means to stand against him. And praise God, he'll have to flee. And flee is not walking away, brother Thomas. It's running. Can I get an amen? Oh, come on. Sometimes we want him to get on our back. That way we've got an excuse. Amen. I believe a lot of people like to be in battles. They like for the devil to fight them. That way they're down and out and they don't have to think about the good things of God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, can't they? Say, why would you be in that? I believe a whole lot of people get a lot of joy out of suffering. Yeah. Hey, man, come on. Huh? I believe a lot of people get out a whole lot of enjoyment out of arguing. Hey, man. Huh? Come on. Praise God, I'm here to tell you I serve an everlasting God. Amen. An Almighty. Have you not heard? Amen. Have you not heard, praise God, that we serve an Almighty God? Yes, I God never talking to a brother like that elderly man and he began to talk about it, man, the things of God. I said, let me tell you what God's doing. I said, I've seen God save people that the world has given up on. I said, I see him sitting in my amen church house in the congregation. I said, I see him teaching Sunday school. I said, I know a young man. He began to talk about the sicknesses of this world. I said, don't you know God can heal? I began to tell him about your back. And praise God, when I got to the place where I had my hand on your spine, and that way went back in the place. Honey, me and him had a spell. I don't know what everybody else is doing, but the God that I serve, and that Blessing God. Hey man, he was a blessing me. Praise God. Can I get an amen? amen. Does he bless you? Praise God going down the road. Yeah. Does he bless you when you eat here? Does he bless you? Hey man, I'm a morning. Praise God. Hey man. Yes, my Lord. The Bible said, Amen. <laughs> the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. He fainteth not. Are you hearing me today, child of God? Amen. The God that I serve, the Creator, the Almighty, <laughs> the Everlasting, that created the earth, Amen. He fainteth not. Amen. Did you hear what I just said? Amen. 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 He's never lost one ounce of power. Right. Huh? He never called one person, one man to go out and do his work that he didn't have a plan. They had to suffer, brother. I can think about old Paul and some of the rest of them. John beheaded, Peter crucified upside down, old Paul beaten and thrashed in bed, stoned Jeff and laid outside the gate for dead, amen. And all he was doing was telling the truth. And then I get to thinking, feeling, amen, praise God, embarrassed. I, I, I want to say, Lord, praise God, why not me? Why not me, Lord? Praise God. I'm not suffering near enough, brother. Praise be unto God of you. Hey, come on, have we? Praise God, we ain't seen nothing, have we? Amen. Amen. Creator. <coughs> we fail to understand God created this thing. God take care of this thing. Huh? Come on. How many believe that this morning? Amen. Come on now. If you don't truly believe it, don't raise your hands. But do you believe it? Amen. Do you believe He's in control of this thing? Amen. He knows Randy Jones before Randy Jones was ever born. Amen. Amen. And I believe with all my heart. And I began to tell this old man last night. Praise God that I, I wondered a long time. Amen. How I wasted my life. Until this young man lost without God told me at an eating table at his mama's that I never wasted nothing. That God let me live that right, that lifestyle, amen, that when God saved me, that this young man could see a difference, amen, and give him hope. I never thought about it like that. But praise God when I began to think about it. You know what? Old Randy Jones is running up and down this road in the middle of the night. Hey man, people have to dodge that old black hole. Yeah. I'm looking for you ever in the middle of the night. Wondering where you is at. Hey man, for one reason. That they can see you at Pleasant Chapel Church this morning. And know that the Almighty, the Creator, the everlasting God, is 
How come you better look down? You ain't seen what God's fixing to do for you yet. <laughs> no, you, you don't know, but I'm telling you, you better get ready. The Bible said, Amen. Amen. And neither is weary. God's not weary. You think all this stuff that's going on is taking God by surprise? Wake up! You know what he said, Greg? He said in his book it was a comedy. It ain't took him by surprise. He told us it was a comedy. He shouldn't shake you up. And the Bible said, A man praise God and he's neither weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Amen. If you need understanding, ask of God. The Bible said, Amen, He giveth power. Now listen. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, He increases strength. Did you hear that? And the Bible said, Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But now listen. He said, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Can I get an amen? They shall mount up on the wings of eagles. Do you understand what a wee eagle does? Amen. They don't set through the storms of life. Are you hearing me, child of God? Amen. These little birds. Sometimes they'll fly in my barn to get out of the storm. And they'll just be flying from wall to wall. But I've never seen an eagle in my barn. And I'll tell you why. Because when the storm began to rise, they'll take flight. Amen. And the God in heaven will send an updraft. And those wings will catch the wire that God sent. And they'll sail above the storms. And they'll just sail there till the storm passes by. Can I get an amen? The Bible said they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on the wings of an eagle. You see, God's got a place for you. That you can fly. Say, preacher, I've had a hard time with these storms. Why don't you just quit fighting them, praise God, and fly a little? Amen. Amen. I preached some ways tonight about having a party in the house of God. People think I'm crazy. Why don't you sail? God sent the wind. That's right. Amen. God sent the message. Amen. And He said, if you'll just wait on Him. You know where we get in trouble? We try to fix it ourselves. Amen. Amen. Our bills, our troubles, our trials. Amen. Praise God. Friday. I don't know about everybody else. I, I just can't handle it sometimes. Amen. Praise be unto God. My wife called, said we had a sheep dead laying there beside the road. I said, well, it ain't going nowhere. It's laying there beside. She said, but it's by the road. I, I couldn't help it die by the road. Amen. But then in just a few minutes, she called and said, they called the horses is out. I said, I'm on my way. Start up with a horse screaming, Brother Martin. Stop me coming up the road. Sell price passed away. Me coming up the road. Amen. I thought, Lord, how much more can I handle? Praise God, got my truck to go get the horses to change them in another field. Brother Tony and Petey come to the house. Amen. Praise God and help me. Thank God. Amen. For part of God's army. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes if we don't show up in the right amount of time, I feel like I'm going to have a breakdown. Have you ever been so lonely? You can't Amen. go. Amen. By the time we got to the top of John Knob, praise God, we're about to sail. Amen. Start down John Knob, and praise God, every, truck, every light on my dash, my truck went off. Amen. Glow plug lights come on. Beepers started going, wouldn't hardly pull. I just said, thank God I'm saved. Hey man, God, I don't know if it'll work now or not. Just parked at the house, let her go, no matter. I'm still saved. Got the car, hey man, pray. Oh my God. Got in the truck. Got home, told Melinda, said, if you don't care, call White Top. Order these boys some pizza. We'll go get them, hey man. I told Brother Petey, I said, run get them. We'll clean up this junkie sheep's been eating, going to kill them. Petey said, I can't.
can't remember how to get there. I said, Tony, will you go? He said, I don't know if I can get there. I said, praise God, I'll go. You just keep it working. Amen. <laughs> Got my little black truck. Amen. Started across White Top and told Melinda, said, get in, go with me. We got almost to the store. The mufflers start falling off. Amen. I thought, praise God, what else is going to happen? Got to the store and got our stuff. Amen. And you'll never believe who come out of the store to talk to me. That boy of yours, amen. He said he's coming to go with me. It was for me to be at the store, amen. To show him love, amen. Amen. You know, matter of fact, I ain't even thought about that red truck to just the Amen. <laughs> but also, I don't forgot about it. Hill Road, Sarah, when I get back. If not, praise God, we'll just leave the set and I'll hit you right with somebody else. Bless you. Amen. You'll come get me, won't you? <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Let me tell you something. There's more important things in life than this stuff in this world. Amen. If it all falls apart, Jeff, it don't matter. Praise God. If it all lays down and dies, it don't matter. The only thing that matters, sister, is making a difference in somebody's life. And praise God, that's what I want to be. The Bible said, Kelsey, that we could just mount up on wings. And we'll just catch us a wind. A man just hold her wings out. And praise God, just sail. I'm talking about rise above it. And when you get to that place over in the book of Revelations 12 chapter, praise God, the Bible said there's a woman. And God gave her a wing, some wings to fly over into her place. In the wilderness, in this world. That she was nourished for a time and a time and a half of times. Took care of. God will take care of you, Thomas. Hey man, I promise. He brought you to here, didn't He? Hey God, now He wants you to fly. God will send you a wind when troubles come and the power of God begins to roll. When I seen your boy's face, I forgot about the muffler, amen. Hey man, there's an old boy took off over the our chair. Praise God, a spinning and a ripping. Did that old muffler on his truck? So I thought, praise God, I'm going to open up my top. <laughs> Praise God, amen. <laughs> That's when it starts sputtering. <laughs> <Bless it. laughs> yeah, every once in a while, I like to spin a wheel. <laughs> this fella told me, praise God, and Brother Jeff, that my garage it is a sin. I mean, to be out here blacking the road. I said, you show me that in your book. Ain't what the Bible says. Amen. It may cost me some tires, but praise God, amen. I can spend if I want to. <laughs> you know what these young boys need to know, sister? They need to know that the preacher is just like everybody else. Yeah. They need to know, praise God, Joe, and I'm not bigger than anybody else. Right. Amen. Come on. Amen. That's it, boy. Sometimes it might help you get a little tension off you black the road just a little bit. But you'll get a picnic in the wrong place. <laughs> Amen. But I'm telling you right now, I love it. I love these boys. Amen. Amen. When I drive that old Chevrolet pickup, Amen, praise God. It's even tore up, man. Drove it to the house, transmission went out of it, sitting in the driveway. It takes another to come. Amen. Amen. So when I get to drive it, I just can't help it every once in a while. I got a little part from it. You got fire, you got to use it. If you love the Lord, you got to tell somebody. Amen. Amen. If you've got the Spirit of God in your life, it'll show to somebody. Amen. Amen. They'll just draw right to you. Amen. Them youngest come out of our praise, got out of the store, me going through the parking lot, and just run right over to me. I told him, I said, come ride with me. He said, would you let me ride your little horse? I said, I'll let you ride anything I've got you to come ride with me. Invite him to come camp with us. If I get him with me, he ain't with that other bunch. Amen. 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 Come on. If I can get him with me, praise God, I can make a difference if I can get him to listen. Yeah. Say, so you sneaky, yes I am. <laughs> hey. If I can get him with people that love the Lord, they can see how happy people are. Yeah. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. It's a joy. The brother spoke about it. It's a joy to serve God this morning. Amen. It's not a burden to be in the house of God. Amen. I got up this morning early because I wanted to come to church. Amen. 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 It ain't a burden to me. I get up every morning, praise God, early to get to work, praise God. It shouldn't be a burden to come in on Sunday. Amen. If you want to sleep in, go home, praise God, out of church and take a nap. Amen. 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 You just wait on the Lord. Sometimes, sister, it's hard to wait. Eh? Praise God when He does blow by. You get on the way. You feel your feet and your burdens go below you. Amen. Your road runs above it all. That peace is worth everything in this world. I don't know what month tomorrow holds, Randy. Everything I got may be tore up in the morning when I get up. You know what? I'm going to fix one thing at a time and keep praising God. Amen. Thank Him that I'm safe. If it gets to where I can't travel, I'll go riding horses. I'll ride one to Little Lane's out. I'll get me another. i got a field full. Praise God. Amen. Then I'll get down to the young ones. Amen. They need to be broke. Amen. Man, ride them to Lance in a time or two. Praise God. They'll quit jumping around. Can I get an amen? amen? Come on! Amen. You ever thought about it? That horse breaks down. And you get on your horse. I told them boys come back across the mountain. We had four in the trailer. Had two little bitty cups. We had two yearlings and two mares. Jeff. And praise God. And I told them, I said, if it breaks down, we'll ride them on in. And I said, ain't it great? God's a good God. I'm the only one that's got a saddle. <laughs> hey, God. Hey, come on. I don't know what Petey is going to do. Because me and Tony are going to take a good one. Say, man. Praise God. I said that to say this. God's always got a way out. If amen. You dare. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. I love joking that to the fool. I, I'm happy. Yeah, amen. amen. I love it. God's got this thing, Sister Carol. He's an almighty, the creator. Everlasting. He don't faint. Just keep trusting and see what God can do for you. Sister began to praise Him for saving her and healing her. Amen. I thank God for you being here. You know why? Because you're a testimony. Your life is a testimony. And to see you blesses me, amen, because I can see what God can do. Can I get an amen? I'm going to hush this morning. That's on my mind. I just love the Lord. Amen. If I can make a difference before I leave this world, Nathan, praise God, I've done what I'm supposed to. I've done too much harm. I want to change. I want to change things for the better. For the better, bro. For the better. Amen. I'm going to hush. We're going to get us a song. And uh, before we fellowship, we're going to give some of these youngins the right hand of fellowship. Uh, I think. <coughs> This brother back here needs to be fellowship. I love it. Amen. We're going to get Sister Louise got some names. I think Sierra, we got, we're going to give you the right hand of fellowship this morning and give you all the rights of any other sister in the church. And, uh, we need to get this done. That's the reason we're trying to get these folks baptized. Amen. So if you're listening.